Yes, hello. Simon, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Outstanding that I got you on the phone here in Phoenix. Have you been out in here in the desert before? Yeah, yeah, many times. The last time I was there was this incredible rainstorm. <laughs> the most amazing stage of my life. So it was a day of mixed emotions. Yeah, you should come out here more so our weather guys have something to talk about. <laughs> well, you're my favorite zombie killer and beer drinker. Absolutely <laughs> love all the movies you've done, starting with Shaun of the Dead, then Paul, Hot Fuzz, The World's End, Star Trek, and now... Yeah, this flick called A Fantastic Fear of Everything. What's this one about? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a film that um, is based on a short story by Bruce Robinson, who's a fantastic writer and film director as well. He directed a, a, a classic British film called With Nail and I with Richard E. Grant and uh, Paul McGann, which is you, you have to see. It's one of the best drunk movies ever. And I think it was <laughs> with The World's End, which is a, a, the recent movie I made with Edgar Wright, it was definitely a, an inspiration. And uh, uh, So... Bruce wrote this story called um, Paranoia in the Laundrette, which is what we call laundromats here. And, um, but, and it was all about a man who is writing a series of plays about murderers and becomes convinced that he himself is going to be murdered. And um, during the course of the film, is forced to go to a laundromat because he needs to, to wash his clothes. And then, but the thing is, the, 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 the key thing he's frightened of, the, 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 the very focus of his, his major phobia is laundromats. So he has to face his biggest fear in order to win the day. And it, it's a unique and, and beautifully shot, very strange movie, and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I think as a viewer, I mean, that's something we love to see, something different like that. Is it fun playing, you know, someone paranoid? Does it oh, make yeah. comedy I mean, easier? I think, I don't know. I mean, it, it's a, it, it is a comedy. It's a, it's a very black comedy. You know, it's kind of, um, it's very whimsical in its comedy. It's not like an outright sort of um, yucks with, you know, sexual innuendo and that kind of stuff. It was, it, it's a very strange kind of film. In the, in the, <laughs> in the tradition of films like Don't Look Now or, or, or The Omen or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I love doing comedy, and I, I think comedy is, is is often something that's not particularly taken seriously, uh, probably because it's not serious, if you know what I mean. For you, you know, <laughs> acting, screenwriting, stand-up comedy, I mean, what's your favorite thing to do? I think I like acting. I, it's, I mean, screenwriting is something I really enjoy, but it's very much a means to an end. It's so eventually I can, um, I can go on to, to act the thing. The same with Edgar, you know, Edgar Wright, when we direct, when he directs, when he writes, he's going on to direct it, and that's, we do the writing in order to do what we love the most, which is, um, which is the practical part of it. But, you know, it's all fun. And I, I, I certainly love, um, um, you know, performing and, and I'm really enjoying comedy. I've done a couple of films recently that have been a couple of things that have been more serious, which I find more challenging, but no less enjoyable. Well, so for you, you know, you and Edgar, you guys, you know, have been doing films for, for a while. And I'm sure you get this question, you know, Shaun of the Dead 2, is that possible? I mean, I know you survived. Although I Nick think, didn't. yeah, the, only, the, the thing is with, with, with that is that, you know, everyone died in it apart from me. Yeah. And it would be, it would be a shame to make a film where Nick Frost doesn't, isn't allowed to speak. Yeah, that wouldn't be good for Nick. And I think sometimes, you know, the, the desire for, 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 for sequels can be can encourage laziness in viewers, you know. I mean, you don't just want to see the same thing again. We, th th that's the reason we made... Well, I think if you had a best friend zombie, that'd be awesome. I, I think that's why when we made Hot Fuzz, it was like, well, let's make a kind of a sequel to Shaun of the <laughs> Dead, but it not be a direct sequel. Hot, the World's End as well is a kind of a sequel to both those films. It, it, it ties up the themes of those movies, but with different characters. And I, I think you can retroactively spoil films with a sequel. You know, if you... Yeah, I'd, I'd have a lot. I'd have my memories of Alien and Aliens would be a lot better if it wasn't for Alien Three and Four. Do you know right. what I mean? It's like, yeah, good point. You, you can you can you can damage things by trying to add to them or improve on them. And and I don't think we could. You know, Shaun of the Dead was lightning in a bottle for us. It's for us to go back and try and do better it. I, I think we'd be onto a lost leader, really. I love when I catch it on cable because my wife is always like, "You're watching Shaun of the Dead again?" Yes, hun, I have to. It's on. <laughs> With all the swearing taken out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the film bar here in Phoenix is showing a fantastic fear of everything right now, and I have a ton of passes to give out to see it for free. So call me up if you want to go, 602-260-9750. Simon Pegg, thanks for making us laugh, man, and uh, make it to Phoenix so we get some rain. Love to. Yeah, i got to come back and see it sunny. <laughs> yeah. All right, Simon. <laughs> well, you have a great one, man. Thanks for the call. You too, buddy. Take care. All right, Bye. see you.